Welcome back. Members of the San Francisco medical community protesting the Trump administration's immigration policies and the Immigration and Customs Enforcement practice of putting families into camps. Joining me now is U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Acting Director Ken Cuccinelli. Good morning, uh, Ken. Good morning. Nice to see you. What do you make of this? Well, you know, not everybody agrees with the president's policies and uh, you know, the people in ICE are doing a great job, frankly, and they do it under very difficult circumstances. The protests you're talking about are pretty darn mild compared to a lot of what they're facing in their job day to day. So uh, I think uh, Americans really ought to appreciate a lot more what they do to keep us all safe. And, uh, and the president's made it very clear with the Flores rule last week mm -hmm. and public charge the week before that. You know, we're, we're ramping up. Uh, to uh, execute on his agenda and it's having a real meaningful effect if you look at the numbers coming across the border illegally this summer they continue to uh, gradually decline we have a long way to go it's hard to get down to a legitimate level a non-crisis level without congress's engagement and they have been notably absent in this effort Ken, I want to point something out, too. We talk about San Francisco. Well, in San Francisco, when it comes to federal immigration laws, they don't apply. They're ignored. It is a sanctuary city. It is a sanctuary state. So if they're worried about the health of individuals coming into this country illegally, then maybe they should try to enforce those laws in that city. Well, there's no question that um, when we have cooperation locally, everything works more smoothly. And, and, and a lot of these people, like the ones protesting there, they're just kidding themselves about what's actually going on. I mean, the human trafficking that's going on, the drug trafficking, the weapons trafficking, including in, in children, the human trafficking piece, uh, is, is, uh, is a tragedy of its own. The Flores rule last week will finally allow us to keep families together for more than 20 days, and, um, and, it, and it stops the federal government from being used effectively as the last mile in a human trafficking chain, which is what drug smugglers and the cartels were doing, mm -hmm. given the nature of our laws. We, we, we have opponents we have some very evil people in this hemisphere who are using our own system against us as they attempt to overwhelm it at the border. Really quickly, Ken, I want to ask about the border wall. President Trump's sure. one of his biggest campaign promises coming uh, come up a little short. There are parts of the border wall have been replaced, but to yeah. date, not a single mile of new border wall has been built. Your reaction to that? Well, we're, we're at 60 miles and counting, and we're averaging about a mile a week since May. And with the big win in court recently for the president to allow the Department of Defense to, to d jump into this effort, we're now going to start seeing essentially two border wall building efforts going on in parallel. Mm -hmm. The one run by uh, Customs Border Protection, of course they manage all of it, but they, they run one and then DOD brings its own uh, funding to another and the courts have recently just released that. So you'll see tremendous acceleration of this as we go through this year and into next year. And I think you'll, by the end of next year, you'll see over 400 miles of wall built under this president. Ken Cuccinelli, good to see you, sir. Come back good soon. Good to be with you. Take care.